Oh, it's already started. Um, hello everybody. Welcome back to another video. Today I will be reviewing every single Funko Pop. I'm not opening them. I'm just going to take a look at all of them. I've completed the collection. I got the last one about on Thursday. So, one, two, three, about four days ago. Three, four days ago. Yeah. Um, I also did get all the Jurassic Park comic books, most of them in the other day. The OG 1993 one's very cool. Very cool. Very weird too. But you know. The rest of Park's way better than anything, in my opinion. Okay, so um let's take a look at this. Uh so Yes, that's that. And I did actually get this from Target, the box. They actually allowed me to take it. Funko Pop display that says pop up in the top corner and that was super exciting and I have every single one here and most of these are not sold at Target some are sold at Target some are exclusive to Target every single one of these I assume you can get at the Funko Pop store I actually did get a few of them at the Funko Pop store because I live near the I live like five hours away from the Everett one but my aunt lives over there so we went and visited her and I went to the Funko Pop store so let's start off with the top um, right here we have Kayla Watts right here. Awkwardly, every single one says their last name on it, except this one. So this is our exclusive fall edition. Now, recent, I pre-ordered. It came out on Target.com. Yes, Target.com says, as you see, it says, like, right there, limited edition. 2022 fall convention. Mm -hmm. So that's Kayla. Set her right there. Now let's get out the T-Rex. I picked this one up at Target. So, so far we have two that I found at Target. So there's this Funko Pop. T-Rex. So there's two that I've gotten at Target so far. Then we have the one that I am obsessed with, but it was probably one of the hardest Funko Pops to find, but I actually ended up picking it up at Target, at the Funko Pop store. So Blue and Beta, picked them up at the Funko Pop store. Very cool. None of these are opened. I like to keep my pops in the box. Okay, so there's that. Um, let's start here. We have Maisie. I picked, well, I believe this one was picked up at GameStop. Yes, GameStop Maisie was picked up at. There's Maisie. Got her at GameStop. Uh, the Therizinosaurus. It's actually the only one out of all of these. I got at Box Lunch. I'm not a fan of the Thera. It kind of looks, I guess you could say, it kind of looks a little icky. I'm not a fan of the Thera. Pop is probably my least favorite out of all of them. And here we have the, one of my favorites. We have the Giganotosaurus right here. This one I picked up at Target. Yeah, um, no, um, GameStop. We got the Giga. Have ran into it at Target not once, actually. Only GameStop I've seen this at. Maybe Hot Topic will have it. I don't know. I haven't been there yet in a while, at least. Um, and this one actually is a BAM exclusive, so I don't know if that I don't know about that store or something. But I got this one at the Funko store. So this is a Trossoraptor Red. Yes, Red. Trossoraptor Red. Um, I actually think this is my favorite a Trossoraptor out of all of them that we've gotten on the. Funko Pop line. My favorite one in general is tie between Tiger and Ghost and Pan. Tiger and Ghost are probably my favorite in the entire generally. Now we have the whole world of some humans here. Next to the camera. Now we have basically our human row here. Not one dinosaur in this row. So here we have Claire Deering. This is actually a really good pop. I absolutely love this one. So that's Claire. Found this one at Target. And Owen, I also picked up a Target with Claire at the same time. Kind of like making this insane little setup here. I think Owen will look good on Maze. As I destroy it all. Sorry, I'm trying to make this look good because this will be my thumbnail. we 
we go. It was very easy. This one, actually, I'm out of, this is probably one of my favorites out of every single pop. And Malcolm, I found it at GameStop. This one was one on my list that I needed to find. He was fantastic. He looks, he's a great, he, and he looks like an absolutely fantastic pop as well. I have not opened any one of these. I never will. And here we have Alan Grant, who actually, some of these ain't even listed on the back, which I do find weird, but. Alan Grant, he's everywhere at Walmart. This was actually, I think, one of my first Dominion Pops I picked up. No, wait. Owen and Claire were my first one. This was my third. So, I actually thought he was going to be the hardest one to find, but now he's, like, stocked up everywhere at Walmart. This one, actually, I'm obsessed with, and I've loved everything. Ellie Sattler was another one on my list to get majorly, and I actually found her at Target at 8 o'clock at night. I think I did a toy hunt on her. Most of these are probably on a toy hunt, but some aren't. I didn't do one in the Funko Pop store because it was a rush in and rush out. Um, and here we have a Trociraptor Panthera, which was only a Target one. Picked her up at Target. Being very iffy with this Tower of Doom here. And most of this row at the bottom is filled with the Trociraptors. And here's the Trociraptor Tiger with a specialty, a limited edition Funko Pop. This one is exclusive to the Funko store itself. So I did pick up Tiger at the Funko store, if you were wondering. And hmm. let's see here. This may not work. And the last one that is honestly one of my probably le least favorite Funko Pops. I don't know why Ghost looks trash, but ooh, that's Ghost, only at Target. I actually got Panthera and Ghost for my birthday from my cousins. Shout out to them. And I can't stack, I'll try to stack one more Tross Raptor up here. It ain't gonna stay up there, so I'm just gonna put it down here. I'm like, the, I'm trying not to shake the bed at all. This is gonna be my thumbnail. Um, so, stay Jurassic. Don't move. The Franco Pops is the biggest thing that ever. <laughs> oh, I'm an idiot. 